Hello everyone! I'm happy to see you all here today. My name is Miroslava and I'm the founder of Artifact Online Learning Platform. First of all, that's amazing that you decided to spend time for yourself, to invest time into your professional and personal development in your artistic sphere. Uh, we've been asked so many times by our followers and our students about a sketching lesson. And here we go. Our new instructor, Natalia Pilipuk, is going to share with you her tips and tips on how to create an amazing watercolor sketches. But before we actually start, please do follow the active link in the description to this video. And there you will find a free brochure by Natalia where she will share with you how to start painting background, how to do the realistic shadows. Uh, how to choose the right materials for your sketches, how to choose the right sketchbook. All of this and tons of useful information you will find in a free PDF guide, PDF brochure, in the description to this video. So follow the active link. And now, don't forget to like this video, to subscribe to our channel, and let's start painting! Hello everyone, my name is Natalia Pilipuk. I will tell you about such a direction as sketching. To be more precise about watercolor sketching. I will begin with the definition of sketching. Sketching is a technique of rapid painting. The name is from the English word sketch. That means draft. This technique is generally based on the fact that the painting is done quite quickly. The most important thing is to capture the moment and to show it on paper. Nowadays, sketching has turned into an independent artistic movement. It is rather popular. Materials in sketching can be different. I paint watercolor sketching. If I add liner, we'll get more graphic sketches. I can give you examples. This is a light pencil sketch. And it's a quick sketch of the tube. I have an example of a sketch with liner. I mean, I do a quick sketch on the lines of this jar. And then I caught some characteristic moments of Keras Kour. I made my branded splash and we got such a light sketch which is more graphic. It is possible to do it without a pencil or liner. Just immediately cage the sketch with watercolor. It is called from the strain. You can make such sketches. You see how many techniques you can use in sketching. Today we make a quick sketch of this tube of paint. I'll just tell you the basic principles of how quickly we catch the character of this tube. We put colors in sports, make a shade, and in general we will spend about 5 or 10 minutes on it. We will paint a real sketch. I will do it without a liner. Someone can paint with liner, without pencil. So, for work we will need paper or a sketchbook. 
it is very convenient to do sketches in sketchbooks. I have a sketchbook of Malevich. which is 100% made of cotton besides we need a set of watercolors preferably from some professional line I will use a synthetic brush which is also of Malevich the number is 6 we will need a pencil an eraser a glass of clean water and napkins to wipe the brush. That's all. Possibly it would be useful to have an acrylic marker for details or white gauche. I'd sooner use the acrylic marker. So, let's start. Since I am sitting, my angle uh, will not be from above, but as if from this side. I repeat, I'll have an angle from this side. So, try to draw without delving into construction details. We only draw and capture the characteristic curves. Characteristic shapes. In some places the tube is uneven. Here it lies. Here it kind of rounds off if we draw a line but we don't need it now because we do sketch that means a draft here goes the lid that's all our pencil sketch is ready i have spent about a minute on it I do nothing anymore here. <laughs> I've outlined the shape. In principle, we can outline where there will be some labels. But we do it so as not to lose them. We can erase some lines. But we can leave them to make them more graphic. So, great. Now I add the color. I'll take a synthetic brush. I try not to pick up this color. I just mix burnt sienna and uh, burnt sienna and cobalt blue we have more cobalt the mix is thin enough we do it by strokes. I see where the light is. This part will be dark. Respectively, the top will be light. I try to paint with this one touch movement. I don't blow it in one place several times. I do all the shadow errors using this mix. So 
So, I don't add anything anymore here. After that, we use cadmium red, which I dilute thoroughly. From here it goes light enough. Here I add sports. Here we can darken this part, which is in the shade. Then I take neutral tint. I'll dilute it with some water to make it less bright. And I paint this black line. And here this port. Even if it leaks a little here, it doesn't matter. This is a sketch. While our tube is drying, I'll do the same mix of burnt sienna and cobalt blue. I'll make the mix a little tighter and I'll do the line under the tube. But we'll leave a stripe under it. We say it's a reflex from the table and blow it. Great. In general, our sketch is almost done. We just make the strokes stronger here. We m will make creases. We use the same mix for this part. We mix burnt sienna, cobalt blue and neutral tint and make a clear stripe. So we can make a bright spot. That's great. We can make some splashes in such a manner. It's marvelous. Our sketch is ready. Now it needs drying. And uh, then we'll give some captions here when it dries.
so great. So, I dried my sketch with a hair dryer, just not to spend much time. And I see that the pigment of the paint has soaked into the paper and it turned out to be pale. I want to add a couple of bright strokes to be more precise this red color. I take this cadmium red and do some strokes. In some places I blow it. I just make it a little brighter. Here in the shade you can add a neutral tint. here just a little bit so I take the neutral tint and uh, mostly the shady part we are doing our logotype in such a manner it became a little better and brighter. I want to add a shade here to highlight it. I take the same mix. I'm doing our shade and lowering it. That's all. Our lid perked up. A little bit here. We got our rounded part. And did I do it in detail? Here I don't paint anything, just do some strokes. Generally, I only use a mix of burnt sienna, cobalt blue, neutral tint and cadmium red. I want to highlight the shade more to make it brighter here so we can't overdo it we've highlighted everything that's great we need to avoid doing our sketch blurring we have uh, something written in a dark way. I'll take neutral tint, do a weak mix and uh, make an imitation of the caption. I don't write anything in detail, we only have something as if it is written. In such a manner, we do the same thing here. So, We have a caption here and here. Here you can make 
such lines. He will have a stripe. And that's all. Our quick sketch is ready. We spent about five minutes on it. I painted from about this angle. You see, I have spent a minimum of time demonstrated a general character, made some color decisions and we got the sketch. I hope you understood the principle. I've tried to explain it to you in the clearest way. Paint it. So, as you can see, we haven't spent a lot of time on this sketch. Generally, Sketching is an ideal option for beginners. This technique doesn't require any professional artistic skills or art education. That's why it's a great way to start painting, enjoy it, get freedom and liberation. After honing these skills, it will be easier for you to paint more complicated subjects in the future. So, how was it? Fast and beautiful? I'm sure yes. And now you know that it's not so hard as it looks like. I'm sure that your results fascinate not only you, but also your friends, your relatives, your audience. And do you know why? Because we are here to open up your talents and to bring your watercolor to the next level. So, do not forget to follow the active link in the description to this video and learn even more from Natalia and her beautiful sketches. It's free of charge. Take a chance and do it right now. So uh, like this video, subscribe to our channel and see you next time.